<clears throat> Hello. Hello. Hi, chat. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Hi, hi. From scars to live a life you've never loved. Hello. Hi. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday again. No problem. <laughs> hello. Let's say hello to chat. Hello. Uh, Lainey, hello. Hello, Naked. Nake End. Hello, hello, Luna. Hello, little baby man. Hello, hi, Lightning. Hello, Sab Switch. Hello, Grape. Bonnie B, hello. Azro, hello. Um, Kalo, hello. Maria, hello. Berry Froggy, hello. Hina, hello. Vohan, hello. Uh, Educational Tree, hello, hello. Jax, hello. Phoenix, hello. Les. Les Dolly, hello, Mary, hello, Mystic Melody, hello, 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 everybody, hello, Peach, hello, Hina Me Peach, is that how I say your name? Hello, Butler Boo, hello, hi, everyone, hi there, <laughs> true, where is Zoo? I saw Zoo earlier, hello, Paper, hi, 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 big day today, chat, big day today, um, the countdown timer is um, wrapping up today. Here, I can pull up the, the website. QSMP. Is it QSMP.global? <clears throat> Whoa, that's cool. I didn't realize that when you enter the page for the first time, the big part of the screen is the countdown. Um, here. Look, when I refresh the page, oh, wait, hold on, uh, qsmp.global, look, did you guys see that? I tried to do it as fast as I can, um, but yeah, it loaded up the countdown timer, so, um, we can't vote yet, um, but this is the website, here's the countdown timer, four hour stream... I don't think so. I think it's going to be a little bit less than four hours. Um, but yeah, I'm going to raid into maybe Foolish or somebody when he logs into the QSMP. Um, what's the website called? This is QSMP.global. Um, so, so it's probably going to be a little less than four hours because I do want to see what how people like prepare for the countdown and stuff. You think it's the German players? I don't know. A lot of things have been hinting towards um, the the nether opening, which is kind of crazy. Um, hold on, chat. You can't see it, but my iPad's dying. But I don't think it's players based on how everyone else was at it. Yeah, me neither. Um, but if you guys noticed this detail yesterday, if you're watching Foolish's stream and how a lot of things, especially with like the Lucky Duck, um, event yesterday, it hints a lot to the possibility of the nether opening. Um, so yesterday, if you watch Foolish's stream, he went back to the countdown room and he noticed that it's starting to melt, right? Like, when they first went in there, um, it's, like, frozen. It's cold, right? But yesterday, when he went in there, he could see the icicles dripping. It's starting to melt, right? Which I think is really cool. Um, a really cool detail. Yeah, it's starting to melt. Um, so... Lucky Duck is such a smart name, I just want to say. The Lucky Duck event was, like, so cool. Foosh noticed things so well. He noticed, like... So so here's the thing. is like, when you are so tunnel-visioned into, like, working on, like, a theory or looking for a certain clue, you miss some of the obvious things. And for Foolish, he's not really good at, like going into like the deep details of like theories and stuff but he's very good at like noticing broad things like he's the first to notice that when it rains nothing good really happens and how rare it is it rains right 
he's one of the first to notice um like the really broad in general things which is crucial to some some of these things like some of the clues and stuff you know so he's also the one who noticed kushkurucho doing jaden mission stream uh before selbit saw it wait really so global warming is going into minecraft I mean, Foolish did tell a story about global warming yesterday. It was raining yesterday, which was very weird. Did we find out um, if it was, like, raining because of, like, a mob? Because if you fight the the Pumpkin King... Um, if you fight the Pumpkin King, um, it, it will... It will, uh... It will rain. When he gets into its final form. <clears throat> it's a qsmp.global is the website. So, yeah. It could have been Etoile in the dungeon, but I only had one POV open at the time, so I couldn't. Gee, Foolish got a crown for Leo, and Leo got a one for Vegeta. How are you feeling about this? My royal family! god yesterday's stream was just so nice chat there's just something about it i had such a fun time like foolish and bad even though they are like at each other's throats so often like because you know they're friends and that's their bit they are such a good pair as like taking care of eggs you know <laughs> um they play into they have like we have bad who is super overprotective and we have foolish who is like super carefree and there's just something about that mix that is really perfect for the kids you know they play into the kids bits so well and i find it so endearing they're so funny together it's unreal yeah and like I just hope that some of the newer audience who are newer to Foolish and Bad's relationship understand that this is their relationship, you know? They do these funny bits together all the time. They're, like, insanely hilarious together. Foolish is such a girl's dad, too. That is so true. Especially yesterday before Leo logged on. Um, uh, before Leo logged on, Foolish was, like... Kind of almost like taking care of like Palm and Tulula a lot. Like he let them do their own thing and like do things together and he'll watch over them and stuff, but you know. Chippendale was too real. <laughs> I love the Jadens. They're such a good group. Is your sub badge capybaras now? No, my sub badges have have been and have always been uh quokas. Little quokas, not capybaras. Uh, my sub just hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Riches and Dapper were being so nice to Leo yesterday. They were. They were so endearing. Um, if you guys didn't see yesterday, Leo wanted one of the horse. So Dapper gave Leo um one of the uh one of the uh pumpkin king like mobs to fight in order to try to find to see if they can like get a get a lantern but then they didn't and then dapper gave leo his spare his spare lantern which coincidentally foolish has the items to make a new horse um so leo got her horse by dapper and foolish and um yesterday um after i think it was like after leo logged off like, after a lot of the eggs logged off, Foolish, Jaden, Richarlison, and Bad went to do one last round of the Lucky Ducks. Um, they did one last round of the Lucky Ducks, and um, Richarlison found one of those, like, cater flying, ca floating caterpillar mob things in one of his boxes, caught it, and he gave it to Foolish saying this is a gift for Leo because he knew Leo wanted one. And I thought that was really, really sweet. Also, I think for the first time, Dapper didn't attack Foolish. Like, they were so chill yesterday, and Foolish got Dapper in Orb. It was so sweet. Yeah, it was really sweet. I think... I think Dapper did kind of attack Foolish yesterday. But it was to get his attention because Leo was there. If you guys, if you guys noticed, 
uh, Dapper noticed that Leo was there, like Leo showed up, <clears throat> ran up to her, right? And greeted her. And like no one else noticed that she was there yet. And then something was hitting Foolish and Foolish turned around. And in Foolish's POV, you can see that Dapper was with Leo already. Um, trying to get his attention that Leo is there, you know? So I think, yeah, everything was really chill yesterday. So <laughs> it was really endearing. It was cute. I was honestly surprised how many of the eggs were like awake and just hanging out, you know? It was, it was five out of the seven eggs that were there that showed up <laughs> and that, like, Richarlison is a given, you know? Um, the flute bandits, they're so cute, the flute bandits. Oh, I didn't get to watch most of Etoile's dungeon, and I felt, like, so upset that I couldn't watch it, because I only had one POV at the time that I could watch, um, and I'm very biased, so I was watching Foolish. <laughs> um, so I didn't get to see Etoile's dungeon, but... <gasps> Ayo two months. Let's so ooh. Love being in this cozy section of the fandom and being a part of your community. I still have moments of anxiousness but I'm glad to be in a space that is crazy about the QSMP and Foolish get to less than three love you y'all. Foolish shark. Oh, it cut off with emojis. But, Eggy Tots, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad you're having a fun time here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the two months. Please let me know what would you like on your coca, and I will draw it for you as soon as I can. I owe ten people cocas. Um, but I also really want to get this comic done. <laughs> so, so... Even though I said I will draw them today, I will say I will draw them after I finish this comic, if I finish this comic today. But if not, tomorrow, 100%. I'm starting to sound like Foolish building the Titan. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like Foolish building the Titan. Oh my gosh, this is my Titan. My comics are my is my Wait, the Kokas are my Titan. Um... <laughs> A really feral coca of course of course i'll add you to uh, i i literally wrote a list i literally wrote a list on like my reminders part of my discord so eggy eggy tots for two months um there okay you're on the list you're on the list do you have discord i do i do at this point, you will have more Pocos to draw than QSMP content, most likely. Um, I, I owe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 people Cocas now. 10 people Cocas. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Okay, but I promise tomorrow for sure. <laughs> Imagine, imagine tomorrow is the day I decided to play o uh, only up, <laughs> and then I don't have my iPad out. That would be so funny. Tomorrow I log in, and I'm like, guys, I'm gonna play only up today. This is a banger, real. I wanted to work on this more yesterday, but then I went on, like, an adventure with my cousins, and I didn't realize they were taking me to, like, a really far away place, um, and it, we took, we were in the car for, like, an hour, it, like, a 30-minute drive there and a 30-minute drive back just to get ice cream, but then we got to the ice cream place, and the line was so long, and we got there at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. And the line was so long. Well, we got there at like 8.30, right? We got there at 8.30 p.m. The, the ice cream shop was going to close in an hour and a half, but the line was so long. There was no way. <laughs> there was no way they had, one, had enough ice cream for us, and two, like, we'll, we'll be there before, like, after closing. So, so then we found a different place 
to go to. And a different place was a bakery. And of course the bakery is going to close like at 10 as well. And so when you got there, there's people there. But there's very limited selections of baked goods that we could have got. Um, I got a cheese tart. Um, and I got like a, a strawberry sparkling drink. And it was so sweet. <laughs> I actually felt kind of ill. <laughs> and so then I got home and like chugged a bunch of water and whatever. Um, but yeah, I got home at like 930 it was kind of terrible. <laughs> so. Mm -mm. The Cocos are going to put up G missing posters at this rate. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. What, ha what else happened yesterday? I I love how Richarlison. Richarlison got away with not taking a bath. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Richarlison went to Foolish because he knew Foolish. He knew Foolish that would like play into the bit. Also, can I just say that Foolish that Richarlison is the number one Foolish defender and apologist? I love that for him. I freaking love Richarlison. Richarlison is so funny. <laughs> He is the number one foolish defender and apologist. Like, <laughs> I'm new. Welcome in. Hello. <laughs> Rain was the bath. I said that too, to be fair. Um, <laughs> Richardson climbed my egg tier list so fast. Nah, me too. Like, we talked about it yesterday, but I honestly did not expect to love Richardson as much as I do. But he has warmed the heart of so many people. <laughs> Kao, Kao is Lee! Hello, Kao. That's saying something considering Leo and Vegeta. That's true. Um, <laughs> Richardson knew that his grandmother would help him. Exactly. Exactly. Richardson saw like, Hey, grandma. Um, how about we make a deal? <laughs> I I have an offer that you cannot refuse. <laughs> it, it's like it's like what what is that? It's like that meme template where it's like this guy and it's like you get and then I get. Like that that deal meme template, Rashad is like you get procrastination from building the titan. I get <laughs> no bath. <laughs> It, it's a deal. It's it's a win-win. Um, and he got away. He got away with it. Freaking Bad was trying to get everyone to take a bath, and then freaking Foolish came in and saved a day. It was all like, oh, I already gave Rochelle's in a bath. <laughs> the, the answer is probably practice. Yep, that's the answer. Yep. I'm sorry. There's, there's no, there's no quicker way to do it. When's the event today? In about four hours. <laughs> I think. Mm -mm. I felt bad for a foolish that lost his gun. Okay, guys, the, what do you guys think the main theory is why Kukurucho logged in to take the gun? Because we all, like, they all talked about it. Like, the timing was so weird. Like, it's understandable if, like, Kukurucho came and, like, took the gun during, like, the election, like, during the debate, or when he was, like, waving it around at the, um, what's it called? At the hide-and-seek event, etc., etc. And, like, but why then, while they're in the middle of pole dancing, while listening to Dorime? Like, what- what was- like, the timing was so weird. It was strange. New admin, maybe? Maybe. But even if it was a new admin, isn't that weird? Like, the timing is still really, really weird. It's probably because he said he had another. I guess, but that's so meta. <laughs> that is so meta. <laughs> that 
That is such a meta way to get take the gun, you know? They're dangerous. I think it's too powerful for what's going to happen today. Yeah, that is interesting. Like, that was also Foolish's theory. Um, how, um... It, it could be, like, they wanted to take a precaution. They were thinking about it, and they wanted to take a precaution um, for, to, just in case, um, whatever happens today, Foolish would not use his gun. I... They might take that precaution because Foolish using his cemetery wand during the during the rescue mission for Selvin. <laughs> they didn't take that into account. Like, <laughs> um, it was Q Q uh, Q N P C eleven. Um, was it was it eleven or zero eleven? Because if it's because there is a cute is it zero eleven or eleven? No 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 because Mr. Mustard is um QNPC eleven, but if it's zero eleven, then that's a new that's a new one. Um <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Mustard is QNPC eleven. Is it is it zero eleven or eleven? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, if it's QNPC eleven, then um, to be fair, that is Mr. Mustard. Yeah, but I think the QNPC eleven account is a shared account amongst like a lot of people. No, no, Q uh Q QNPC ten is the code. QNPC ten is the code. Lula having the princess crown, yeah. It was QNPC 011. <gasps> Marina, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. It's a shared account? Yeah, I think QNPC 10 and 11 are shared accounts. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Q is, Kukurucho is QNPC 011? That's a different account then. That's like a whole different account. Also, Marina. Marina, what would you like on your Koka? I will draw it for you after I finish this comic, maybe. Um. Marina. One, two, three underscores. Nine, eight. Prime. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mr. Mustard is just 11, right? Yes. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. If anyone wants to go back into the VOD and look at it. um, Because it wouldn't make sense for it to be 0, 11. But it could be a whole different account. Because I'm pretty sure the other accounts is just there's no 0 in between the numbers if it's a double digit number. I confirmed it's 011 for the Kukurucha last night. Trust me. <laughs> mm -mm. Kukurucha was 011. I just checked. So yeah, that is a whole different account. That is a whole different account. So it is the different admin for Kukurucha yesterday. That's interesting. That is interesting when you think about it. How often do you stream? Um, three times a week. I mainly stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes I stream on Monday. Sometimes I stream on Thursday, but. Inside of my head. QSMP 11 exists, doesn't it? Unless I misread. Because, like, is it? I, I thought Mr. Mustard and um, Mr. Pastelito um, is like QNPC 11. And then the one who plays like a, a capybara plus like the extra code, if needed, is QSMP 10. Q 
QSNP 08. 08 is Sophia. Palm is 9. Um, Palm is 9. Yeah. 08 is Sophia. Hi, Peach. Mr. Muster is also QSNP 011. Okay, so it's always been 011. Uh, I must have... I must have misread then. my emotions. I remember when QSNP 06 used to play the code for a bit and then they got a new admin. Yeah. That was Bobby. Bobby used to play the code. When I'm without you. Can we talk about how Tallulah fight her fear for the Nightmare Stalker? I am so proud of her. Uh, me too! Yeah, I saw that she uh, fought the Nightmare Stalker, and that is so awesome. Like, imagine her telling that to Phil. Like, Phil comes back, he's like, Tallulah, I'm back! And then Tallulah's all like, Phil, I fought a Nightmare Stalker over the weekend. He'll be like, you did what? <laughs> Bobby? Yeah, Bobby... Um, Bobby used to play the code. Like, when the code first arrived. <laughs> yeah. So, if we go down the line, QNPC 01. 01 is Cheyenne and also the main Cucurucho. 02 is Tallulah. And Tallulah plays Cheyenne sometimes when Cheyenne can't play. So, 02. Um, 03 is uh, Ramon. 04 is Dapper, 05 is Leo, 06 was Bobby, 07 is um, Richarlison, 08 is Sophia, 09 is Palm, 010 is... 010 and 011 are both extra admins that play Cucurucho, the Capybaras, the Code, etc, etc. So, was Bob... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think USMP 10 is the only one with no zero before it, at least based on looking at the wiki. Interesting, interesting. When he hears that, yeah. The Nightmare Stalker scares me, even though it's just white eyes. You know, the Nightmare Stalker kind of looks cute before it attacks, you know? It's just like, it looks like a little guy. But then, you know, I guess to be fair, um, the Nightmare Stalker was considered, like, really OP, but they also didn't have, like, the armor that they had before. You know what I mean? Thank you for the hydrate earlier, by the way. Um, because, like, when the, when the Nightmare Stalker first showed up, they were all only in, like, iron. Iron, like, gear and stuff. No diamond weapons. Like, only really, like, like weak, like, iron weapons and stuff. But, um, after diamond was unlocked, and then, like, all the other armor was, like, mentioned, plus the extra, like, buffed armor, like, Prot's, Prot 6, Prot 7, Prot 10 and stuff. Um, so... Like, he got terrible odds that day. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> so the nightmare stalker isn't too bad at least now you know also remember the damage was disabled i heard it was uh beating on etoile yeah but to be fair etoile was like etoile had like a bunch of them on him to be fair like he fought five withers at one time like come on now like <laughs> It was impressive, considering, like, how many mobs that he was fighting and didn't pop a totem once. Ate over 200 gapples, but didn't pop a totem once. And so... Mm -mm -mm. It's all is great. And he got his life back. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. His poor computer. Oh, yeah. I heard that his computer almost crashed. <laughs> Is that what happened when he logged out? That, like, that moment? Because um, I remember seeing him log out in Foolish's POV. 
<laughs> oh, his poor computer. I heard that the admins were going to were going to offer him like um a more crazy dungeon, and Etoile was like, "You want my computer to explode?" <laughs> <laughs> BBH, Etoile, and Packet Mike are so underrated. I I under I believe so. <laughs> yeah. So so the if you guys didn't know the Etoile situation, so there's this glitch where um if your backpack runs out of food in the auto feed, it for some reason it grabs onto the chorus food and you automatically eat it like it doesn't even have to be in the backpack but like it grabs the auto fruit like what it grabs the chorus fruit in the auto feed glitch right and um and etoile was afk at the time he went to use the restroom jean sure of course one second one second um so Etoile went to use the restroom during the time, but the glitch made him eat a chorus fruit, and then he got glitched into a wall, and he started suffocating, um, and he died due to the suffocation, um, and he wasn't there, and nobody knew where he was. So he quote unquote lost the life, but it was deemed a glitch because I think it happened to someone before. So. It was deemed a glitch, but he was so upset, um, and uh, uh, the admin said, okay, at 12, we can either, one, give you back your life, or two, we give you a dungeon, a really difficult dungeon that you can complete to get your life back. <laughs> of course he chose the dungeon. <laughs> This is a twall that we're talking about. And so um, they gave him the coordinates to the dungeon and that's when he did it yesterday. It was actually really cute. They named it the Etoile Dungeon and they had like a little like floating holographic sign above with like Etoile's like Minecraft skin and it was just like Etoile's Dungeon like over like a pillager like outpost. <laughs> it was it was really endearing. I won't lie. It was cute. <laughs> okay. All right, are you guys ready to listen to Jort Storm? Um, should we watch the YouTube version? I guess we can listen to the YouTube version. Um, Jort Storm, Jort, because like if you if you hear it, the the Jort, um, the music in the YouTube vi music video is different than the one on Twitter. It's like slightly different. Hi, Elena. I hope you had a good birthday yesterday. Jart Storm. This just in. We're receiving reports that a new fad is taking the nation by storm. Its name? Shorts. But it appears as if this breakthrough in Gene Shorts splicing technology is causing irregular weather patterns all across the globe. Hey! It's the warmer season, so I can't wear jeans. I really like the denim, but not the length of the seam. My mom dresses cash and my dad likes to preen. I'm not like I Thank you. Of them, I got the recessive gene. Just start. He hits the high notes and I hear how well he does it. True. But all my jeans are short. Breaking news: Millions of American 
pockets are being sucked directly into the Jortex, and it's headed straight for this studio to my wife, Cheryl, and son, Timmy. I love you! <laughs> this is on Spotify, I'm pretty sure. Oh, but I don't think it's made by Charlie, so... Good soup. Good soup. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Jorts uh song redemption. <laughs> I'll never get over it. Like this is such a good song for no reason at all. Poker face, pop, pop, poker face. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Selvit, yeah, Selvit's pretty cool. <clears throat> I used to be, I used to wear jorts. I won't lie. I'll be honest. I used to wear jorts, but mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. jump in the Cadillac. Mm -mm -mm. Upset because I'm not up to see the timer end, and upset because you didn't see me my redeem for hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate redemption. The George song has no right to be that much of a banger, and it is true. Mm -mm -mm. Used to wear George's? Yeah, now I just wear leggings to every occasion. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, Orion. I watched my head of stream this morning, barely understood a thing, but had a blast regardless. It's amazing how the QSMP and PS has changed how I consume content. Exactly. The head of streams are fun, no matter if he's doing QSMP or like other content. I just kind of like zone out of it, to be fair. I'm like, I don't really understand, but I like how he talks. Mm -mm -mm. Stealing each other's crowns. <laughs> I didn't even realize that he was streaming today. Start learning Spanish for rare and Vegeta. That's based. <laughs> He's gonna stream tomorrow too, right? I hope someone takes care of Ramon's quest today. Don't worry, I know Fit's going to log in today. Fit said that he was going to log in today. Mm -mm. Yeah, baby. My fame content of the horror games. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. I'm making lunch. Mm -mm -mm. What's on the menu? Is <laughs> Veda going to get cigarettes again? Leo is going to put some missing posters and Selva will constantly tell everyone that Roy has been sleeping for days. <laughs> That's true. Wait, is Roy Air also in the ARC series? Because that's starting tomorrow, right? Chicken salad. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Did you guys see that meme where it's all like once a once the once a ship became ca canon and like the Hispanic part of the the couple disappears? <laughs> did, you, did you guys see that meme? I think I liked it. <laughs> 
All right, hold on. I'm pretty sure I liked it. I have so many tabs open. Where is it? Oh, I might not have liked it. I think I saw it and then I laughed. I have this habit of like not liking tweets that I think are funny. And then like I can never find them again. I like this one though. <laughs> I I like this one though. <laughs> This is, such, <laughs> this is such a good clip. Oh my god, it's so good. God, I love when they were dancing during this green screen. That was so funny. <laughs> uh, I love them so much. I freaking love Richarlison. Richarlison's so funny. Oh, <laughs> remember this moment when foolish when foolish or charlison did like one of the one of like the 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 hardest dungeon path together and they fought like the the muscular like nether bug thing <laughs> and charlison got a muscle and foolish got two sacks <laughs> And and Richardson put down a sign saying, "We have the whole PP." <laughs> I was losing. I was laughing so hard. Oh, <laughs> it was just so funny. Oh my god, that was so funny. That is awesome. Richardson is so funny. <laughs> that was epic. I freaking love them. <clears throat> Foolish and Richardson has become like one of my favorite duos. Just have the same wavelength, and I love that exactly. They're meant to be family. Richardson is the best addition to the Brown family. He was truly meant to be Foolish's grandson, exactly. <laughs> it's so funny. Mm -mm. Going all the way. <laughs> Being a foolish apologist is my fave thing ever. Exactly. I love them so much. Like, he, wa he was a foolish apologist since the beginning. Like, before they even became, um, um, what was it? Before, before they even became, like, grandson and, like, grandmother. Like, God, I forgot what moment happened. Um... I forgot what moment happened, but have you ever participated in an art fight? I have not. I've never participated in an art fight. It seems fun, but then I always forget about it. And then like I like know that it exists, but then I forget when it, at what time it exists, and then when I finally remember again, it's over. And then when it actually happens and I remember, I'm like, "Oh, I'll do it later." And then I never do it. <laughs> but Charleston remembers that Foolish found him first way back in the day. I know the admins were different. Let me have this. Yeah. <laughs> but it is cute. Because Foolish was the first person to notice for Charleston. It was like, oh, there's a new egg. As I said, as I said, Foolish notices like very like broad and general things because he doesn't exactly tunnel vision on something unless it comes to builds, you know. I love when Michelle was like, I'm trying to give my grandmother a gift back the chest plate. He just kept whacking, like, he trapped um, Bad Boy Halo in a corner and just started whacking him, like, give me back! Give me back! <laughs> I thought it was sweet that afterwards... Um, he told Bad that he will, if they go again and he finds one, he'll give it to Bad, but then Bad was like, no, no, Richard, listen, I was just teasing Foolish. 
was interacting with all the eggs yesterday was really nice. And I, do you know what was also really nice yesterday? Whenever an egg got a banana, they ran up to Foolish to show him. <laughs> and I thought that was so cute. Isn't that, <laughs> like when Palm got a banana, like she went to like Foolish, it was like, look, I got a banana. <laughs> like literally, literally you see Foolish turn around and you see Palm just like barreling towards him. <laughs> <laughs> like jumping across like his lane of platforms it was like i got a banana <laughs> it was so cute and talula talula also showed it to him that was so cute mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. in the crates in the first place and wondering it was because of him it's definitely him it's definitely because of him they they did it just for him you know, so, so that he can have backups. Like, Palm, I think Palm got another banana and then gave it to Foolish. Muted or am I crazy? I was muted. I was talking to somebody. Talking to someone who doesn't have any, you know, awareness that th I'm busy. <laughs> Did your mic cut out? No. I was muted. <clears throat> mm. Foolish and Fed are just adopting everyone. They might as well. You know. At this point... So many times. <laughs> it It's interesting because if you noticed earlier, the server being reset is because um they're moving. They said that they're moving a lot of buildings right now. Like a, they're moving like a bunch of structures, which is interesting to say the least. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I like when Foolish was looking over Palm and Tallulah. Um, if they were okay, yeah. I love how Foolish was just watching Leo zooming around the horse while chatting with Dapper. That was so cute. Like, Leo was just going, move, running in circles and everything. <clears throat> I also like that Foolish lets the eggs fight on their own unless he needs to step in. Like, he's letting them be independent. Yeah. You know what? Do you know what I noticed? Someone someone pointed it out, but they pointed out how Foolish is doing gentle parenting. And it's true. It's true. Like out of all of the out of all of the CCs, he's the one doing gentle parenting. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? They're moving structures around that? Yeah. That, that's what I caught from when the QSMP was talking to um, Pack and Mike. But right now, the server is down. Leo being the ultimate horse girl. True. Mm -mm. Do you know what I think is really interesting that happened um, over the, the weekend, too? You know how Foolish did like a lot of explore like exploration on his own mm -mm. he did a lot of exploration on his own and i think i think people forget because foolish is always being really silly all the time i think people forget that he he's good at minecraft <laughs> like he's silly yeah he dances around and like makes other people like fight but like when he's on his own or when the time it comes he really shows his actual potential for being a minecrafter i don't know i feel people forget that sometimes <laughs> he's not just a silly guy who 
does like silly builds um but he he's really good at minecraft like he he knows his skills Mm-mm-mm-mm. also Tallulah commenting on how wilbur isn't with her and how he's a dead beat when bbh wants to take a picture but rasharson didn't want to because he only takes a does it with his dad yeah He's also been trained under some of the best players. At one point, he's cracked. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Makes him stronger. What kind of parenting would you say Vaheta uses? Erm. <laughs> Interesting question you got there. Child labor. That's every parent at this point, to be fair. Hello, Uncle 19 think, oh. months. Gee, I hope the sun is always shining bright for you because you are a star KSD big fat. <gasps> oh, Zidrid! Zidrid, thank you so much for the 19 months. Thank you, and the sweetest message ever. Thank you, thank you, Zidrid. I hope you're well. Oh, gee, like on your coca. I will draw it after I finish this comic. Which might end up being tomorrow. Ugh. Oops. Mm -mm. Firm but loving. <laughs> but a tossing Leo off a cliff is so funny to me. I wish I could show that clip to BBH. <laughs> It would be it would be something, that's for sure. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, nah, nah. Mm -mm -mm. Suspenders. <clears throat> I like that he's keeping the suspenders look. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's your theory for the timer? Sorry if you answered this already. I joined like half an hour late. No worries at all. Um, I'm not too sure what the timer means. It would be interesting if it... I don't know. I All I know is that I feel like the nether is going to open up soon. Like all the clues lead up to the nether opening. But I don't know. It could be like... What is it? What is it called? When... What's it called when it's like all the clues lead to something, but then it's not actually that thing that we all thought it was going to be? <clears throat> Red herring. Is that is that it? I, is there like another term for that? Or is it just red herring? Because I was thinking red herring, but then I wasn't sure. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe a modded world if it's not the nether. Another modded world, though? How would that work? They were moving buildings? Yeah, they were moving buildings, and I'm interested in what they mean by that. Misleading misdirection. Yeah. I'm starving. Because, like, they were getting a bunch of items yesterday that, um... That are like exclusive to the nether. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Maybe a different set of mods. If it's like a different set of mods, they don't really make it like this huge event. Mm -mm. <clears throat> A red herring is usually when information is placed specifically to be misleading, so it distracts from the real point. Mm -mm. <laughs> Could be when the elections open up or new people. I don't know. I feel like the timing for new people to be added is really weird right now. So I, I personally don't think it's new people, but if it is new people, one, I think it's bad timing, but two, you know, I, I don't run the server. Um, and I also feel like eight people 
eight new people at one time is just a lot. Don't you guys think? I feel like it's a lot. Like, a lot at once. I think people will come after elections. I think so, too. Yeah, I doubt it's before the elections. Because then what? How are they going to vote? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Also, chat, I'm going to run the hour one ads if that is okay. Um, ads are a free way to support me. So if you guys would like, watch the ads. Let me know what ads you guys get. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I do believe that Quackley implied in his IRL stream that the new people might come one or two weeks, so I doubt new people. Exactly. They usually tell us of who the people are. Yeah. The timer came out of nowhere as well. It It is interesting, especially since now that the room is melting. So I wonder if anyone will log in and, like, go to the room and check it out. And if the icicles are, like, smaller or, like, more, you know. It's big lore. It could be big lore. Mm-mm-mm. mm 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 there's skeletons and stuff. Hmm. I did like the the theory um about it being like the eggs, the original eight eggs or something. But I don't know. I don't know. I got the impossible mission trailer. Interesting. <laughs> um um i don't know it depends on the server <clears throat> new entities like the capybaras or eggs that would be interesting got the barbie movie ad i am so excited i want to watch the barbie movie I still think it's interesting how in um some of the some of the posters and stuff for the on QSMP Global and stuff there was like a mini like Trump figurine like trumpet figurine so <laughs> Megan <laughs> Megan DMs, please. <laughs> I know I saw. The theory of tr of trumpet being the 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 duck. Usually half a year or seven to eight months if it's a good series, and the arcs are half a month per arc. That's interesting. That is all planned out. Um, in like the English Minecraft series that I've seen and watched, not everything is planned out. You know, like. Like the arcs and everything, it just kind of happens. <laughs> yeah, I honestly think it's a little interesting that the eggs are still alive too. But you know what? It's whatever. Not my server. I'll just take whatever. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Trumpet being the duck like the old man in Squid Games would be wild. That would be wild. And it would be really funny. <laughs> like, it probably wouldn't even make any sense. But it would be funny. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Spinny top hat of doom. <laughs> Hello. I'm just saying that if, like, I said this before, but if they end the egg arc of, like, just all of the eggs dying or, like, getting killed, then I feel like that's just bad writing. In my opinion. Like, <laughs> I feel like having them all end in tragedy is just, like, not good, you know? But also... But also the the thing the the thing that makes it difficult right now is that um the eggs have been here for so long that I'm not even sure if it makes sense anymore for them to remove the eggs. Cuz like when like, I love all the eggs. Don't get me wrong. I love them all. I love, like, their interactions with everybody. I love whenever they're online and hanging out. Some of them, like, I've grown, like, really attached to and stuff. But, like, if the eggs egg arc really did end before the Brazilians joined, that was such a, such a good way for the egg arc to end, you know? Like, if they had, like, a good completed way for them to like wrap up the egg arc then it was a great ending but you know they're still here don't know what's gonna happen yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. exactly we would have not gotten riches yeah but now at this point, the expectation is that now that every new language that joins, they're going to get an egg. That's just, that's just the reality of it right now. Like with every new language added to the server, they're going to get an egg. So it's interesting to say the least, you know? Yeah, it, it, it would, it makes me curious how the eggs are going to, how it's going to end up, you know? So, honestly, I think the best course of action is that the eggs hatch and the people who play the eggs can, don't need to be taken care of. But they can come back whenever they want to, you know, and hang out as like little dragons. <laughs> that's honestly, that's one of the better ways for this to wrap up. You know, they quote unquote leave the nest. But since it's, it's hard because you can't say like, oh, they'll leave the nest. They'll leave the nest and then they have to leave and stay away. But like they can hatch. And then they don't need tasks anymore and they can just come back and hang out whenever they want to. That's the best. I, I feel like that's the best way because like the players themselves who play the eggs at this point are, you know, they have so much for the server. They do so much for the server. They have their own machines. They have their own buildings. They have their own like businesses and stuff. So I'm just saying, you know, that's just the best for like both of them. They can finally speak. Maybe. I think it's either wait until they die, all die, but if it's lore wise, it's like Mother Dragon comes to either kill or take them, but I want your idea to come true so badly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. 
What language do I want to be added? So I think the Germans are going to be added next, but the language that I want to be added? I don't actually know. I don't know. <laughs> But I feel like Q wouldn't do that because it would be such a cop out lore wise. It would be, but how else? How else would they do the lore without upsetting other people? Really? And I just feel I would feel bad for the admins because like <clears throat> I, I would just genuinely feel bad for the admins that were already spending so much time playing. Like, literally, Richarlison lives on the server. <laughs> so, like, I would feel bad for the admins who are having fun playing this, but then suddenly not be able to play it anymore, you know? Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Dude, it would suck so badly that if, like, one of the eggs who spend a lot of time on the server just, like, ends up accidentally, like, dying, you know? I would feel so bad for the admin. Mm -mm. Based on the language they stream in, right? Like, Bagheera is not French, but she streams in French? Yes. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Any death at this point would be devastating, except maybe Palm since too. I forgot that Palm still has two lives, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like if we lost Ramon, Ramon for real that one time. Oh god, that would been that would have been so sad. Mm -mm -mm. It could still be capybara as they could, but you know, still not the same. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> I have to go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> I was I will still never get over when Mr. Mustard said that for the first time to Foolish and Phelps. It will always be the funniest moment because he just came back like three times to say goodbye. <laughs> Do you think the nether will be OP? It didn't seem that way when Foolish was sent to hell. To be fair, Foolish was sent to a biome that was pretty tame. Um, that's just me speaking on my experience when I played on a modded Minecraft server with like um with like a modded world to the nether. Um if you go into like one of the what is it? It's one of, like, the red biomes with, like, the trees and stuff. There are some pretty crazy mobs. I got- I was so scared. Like, these giant, like, mosquito mob things. That was scary. It was so scary. Yeah, the crimson, uh, crimson biome or whatever. Leo losing a life to a whale is, is sort of a blessing in disguise despite now that I look back at it um, since we didn't have to worry about the code going after the eggs with two lives. I can't get mods because I play on Nintendo NAR. <laughs> Dude, if Ramon had di stayed dead, it would have been a brutal week. Bobby died just a couple days after Ramon. I wouldn't have been able to recover. True. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
it could be a possibility of her being behind the scenes like an admin or something like that yeah yeah i i think that was that was what i was thinking about too mm -mm. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. I wish there was just like a faster way to color all of this. I'm like starting to lose my mind. I'm so scared of Maximus and Leo's deal of possibly turning Leo into a robot. I feel like that was called off, was it not? Didn't Maximus say that, of course, he didn't want to try anything because he was too afraid of, like, Vegeta's wrath? <laughs> I don't know if that's still happening. Besides, um, Maximus is very focused on his new TV show now. The thing about reference and Phil, Megan, is that... Um, I'm using a textured brush, um, and so it would avoid, like, you'll see, like, the little, like, specks of white in the lines, so it doesn't look as clean. That's the problem. I always forget that in Foolish's new haircut, it includes banana earrings. Not true. <laughs> the fool had always have matching earrings in my art. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> uh, Megan, I know. It's just that, um... There's still the the specs within these lines, so it wouldn't get into like this one, for example, nor this one. So then, either way, I would have to go over it again. And a lot of the times, I don't close my lines, so there's also that. Don't worry, I've tried, and they all failed me. <laughs> Wait, can someone confirm to me that um, Forever's tie is red? I just kind of assumed that it's red. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm sorry to forget um, what Foolish's Minecraft skin used to look like. Don't worry, after the election arc is over, um, it's going to return back to normal, is what Foolish said. The naked Foolish, that is true. He's had clothes for so long. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. It's red. Thank you. Is it like a dark red? I just like use the default red that I have. <laughs> Down. <laughs> About him being the Burger King for my own sanity. <laughs> Chat, don't look too closely at the at this art because the number of braids I give forever is very inconsistent with every single one. And by every single one, I mean like the last one. I could make it consistent. I just need to erase this last one. Hmm, but I don't want to. 
If you listen to Wilbur's music, what's your favorite? Wilbur or Lovejoy or both? Tips of yours. And for more. QSMP Global tweeted. There's water on the floor now. Mm-mm. Soon. Interesting. Or is it packed ice? It does look like it's ice, but there there used to be icicles on the floor. Also, these icicles up here is smaller. They're smaller here. They used to be larger. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. four more hours um i think the timer here is uh off mm -mm 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 -mm. is there any details that we're missing no you're right this is four hours but it's less than that um the theory the theory is that the timer doesn't load um the timer doesn't load if like the chunk isn't loaded so that's why the timer is going to be off Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Once upon a time. Those is two hours? Yeah. It's about three hours from now. A little less than three hours. How much do you think it is then? Think of what? Give in. I'm gonna let you down. Need a second to breathe. In and out. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Mm. Beautiful. Um, I probably don't want this in this layer, especially since I colored the red and there's going to be some overlap. Oops. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ouch. If you have time one day, can you draw Tallulah as a human? I have already, actually. Can you quickly explain what is going on in your comic? What is Vaheta reading? <laughs> it's these tweets. So, I'm drawing these tweets, but as their characters. Um, long story short, um, Vahedda just got his document for the elections. <laughs> 
Gee, I wanted to ask, are you okay with people drawing your character designs? Of course. Of course. I don't see why not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Ooh, looks good for now. For now. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Losing his patience over the train tracks. Honestly, he's just like me for real. What do you want? He's like me when like I take so long to work on like one art. <gasps> oh my god, what? Shylan, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you. What? What? Thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, if you guys got a gifted sub, make sure to say thank you, okay? Make sure to say thank you. Thank you, Shylan. Thank you. What would you like on your coca? Please let me know and I will draw it for you right away. Well, when I finish this comic, it might end up being tomorrow. <laughs> And, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a terrible person. Dance, dance. Mm -mm -mm. I want it to be Mamadissimo. Of course, of course. Thank you so much for the five gifted again. Thank you. Oops. Here we go. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I really appreciate it. Mm. Mm -mm. Flowers for Shylin. Oh, we have a Tina enjoyer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Does this color make sense? Okay, this color looks better, I think. <laughs> Tina key flowers. When did you start drawing? I drew my whole life, but I didn't take drawing seriously until um probably five, six years ago. Mm-mm. -mm. I was so hoping that Foolish would make a cute care package for Vegeta with a note when he had all the gifts for him. Yeah, but this is Foolish that we're talking about. <laughs> this is Foolish <laughs> that we're talking about. I want Tina and Royer interactions. I miss them so much. True. I miss them too. Squidcraft era was a good era. Mm -mm. I want Foolish to play a horror game. That is just like so random and like out of context, but I want Foolish to play a horror game. He owes us that. Like, um, when he played... What what is it? The closing shift? Was that what it's called? When he played that in call with like a bunch of friends, like Shoto, Saikuno, Mi Young, Corpse and stuff, that was so fun. I had like such a good time. <laughs> like I want him to play another horror game. Who will you vote for? I have no idea, honestly. I still don't know who I want to vote for. Mm-mm-mm. Foolish for the meme. I feel like a lot of people would vote foolish for the meme and and next thing we know 
Next, <laughs> and then next thing we know, he wins. And then what? Gag. <laughs> Foolish for Vahed as first lady. Honestly, that's true. That is something that will win me over. Voting foolish to get First Lady Vahetta? I would, I would. <laughs> Am I wrong or are Selba and Bagheera out of the elections? Yes, they are. I still don't know about Bagheera because Bagheera said that she dropped but I don't know. The only problem is, is that Islanders won't vote for him. I'm just saying, Foolish has at least two guaranteed votes on the island. Mm -hmm. I, I have a feeling that Vahedda is going to give him both of his votes. <laughs> so, that's all I'm saying. Mm -mm -mm -mm. One from Royer, maybe, maybe. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, if Bagheera is still in the running, I would vote for Bagheera. But if not, then I'm I'm a little on the fence. <laughs> the header's vote won't count because he shared the code, I thought. There could be a chance that they'll give him a new code. Because <laughs> I feel like that that is unfair for Vahedda if like his votes suddenly don't count because he accidentally shared it. Yeah. I would be curious who Jaden would vote for as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I thought Fula had a family was fed favor, but after the gun incident, I'm not uh I'm not too sure. Yeah. It it is interesting. It is interesting when you think about it. But it does make me wonder if they, if, it, it, I just don't understand why they took the gun at, like, that moment. You know what I mean? Like, why, why did it happen in that moment? You know? Um, like, out of all of the moments they could have taken it, the moment that they choose to take it made the least sense. It's gotta be because he mentioned he having another is the only change, I think. It would be, but then why wait hours after he said that? Because Foolish said that hours ago. <laughs> he said it, like, a while ago in the stream. And to be fair, what Bad said was interesting. Kukurucho showed up when as soon as Jaden logged on. Kukurucho's a VOD watcher. <laughs> it has to do with the countdown, it could be. That's that's like one of the big theories about it, is that it's because of the countdown. Maybe they are moving foolish's builds? I doubt it. Because, like, the Federation really has, like, a lot of control, but um, the thing is, is that even if, like, the admins and stuff have that much control and, like, ability to do something, it, it wouldn't be fair to just suddenly move things around, you know, without asking permission from everyone else. Because, like, if they move, like, like Federation-made stuff, then... You know, that makes sense. But 
moving like other people's like hard worked builds, it, it's I don't know. I feel like that's just crossing a line. They're probably moving the Veta statue. I don't know. Cause like if they're if they're moving the Vegeta statue, it shouldn't be lagging the server that much. Especially since the the statue is very close by. Like the server barely lagged and crashed at all when they like adjusted the Titan, and that's like moving like thousands of blocks like up. <laughs> Maybe they're moving dungeons for the event. Hmm. It would be interesting. I don't know. If they were doing like really big hardcore type like moving, that's how the server would like lag and stuff. But like with barely anybody on the server, it was just like three people on the server, right? It was Mike, Pack, and Richarlison. And I guess the admins. But I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I'm getting cold. So chilly. Put on my hoodie. Exactly. That's what I think so too. Pierre is there now, I believe. Is he able to log in? What happened with the guns? Foolish's gun got taken away from him yesterday. Like, I'm sure that the admins are aware that Foolish has more than one gun. And I'm just saying, there is a chest next to Leo's bed with two guns in them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Foolish has his hidden chest from everyone else. He has a hidden chest, right, of, um, of, like, secret materials, of, like, high-quality items that he has that has one or two guns in them. But there is the chest right next to Leo's bed. And if you open it, there are extra, like, Foolish opened it on stream before, and he took one thing of, like, um, bullets, right? Of ammo. But, like, <laughs> there are two extra guns in there. But Hedda has one too, does he? But he never uses it. Yeah. Cucurucha killed the vibe. True. Cucurucha really did kill the vibe. Bounce. You're forever so pretty. Thank you. He's going to have his facial hair soon. Mm -mm -mm. Oi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I was surprised when I saw that clip and Tubbo was there. I'm like, how did Tubbo get here? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think I think Richarlison wasn't supposed to have a gun, but I think he spawned one in to hang it up as a sentimental item for Bobby. Mm -mm -mm. Mm 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 m
Oh, chat. I hate coloring. Coloring just makes me so tired. <laughs> I don't know how I did it before. How did I color before, Chad? I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Apparently, Tubbo paid for the entire QCP group dinner. Really? Is that true? I feel like coloring is calming. I feel like coloring is boring. <laughs> I hate it. It takes too long. And I'm getting, like, I won't lie, chat. It's making me so sleepy. I am, like, getting so tired <laughs> just coloring. Does anybody know Forever's eye color? <laughs> me, 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 me. Mm -mm -mm. Brown. Mm -mm. Coloring is my favorite part of doing art. <laughs> That's interesting. Like, I don't mind rendering. I think rendering is fun. I just don't like coloring. I wish I could just, like, snap my fingers and, like, all the colors is, like, filled in and everything. His skin is Edward Elric, so maybe gold. But the thing is, is that his eyes in um on his skin is like black. They're like a brownish honey color. There he is. They're not black on his skin though. Oh, really? Maybe I am misremembering. Mm -mm. Stop my ties. Letting it go. The way you draw is so cute. How am I going to steal your style? Well, that's not really honorable. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We will consume your art with a side of mac and cheese. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I've been craving a quesadilla recently. Ba ba. Mm, mm, mm. Letting it go. Let them get this show. This is my life. Why does your forever have the rights to look this good? What? Hmm. I guess I should color. Gold. Ah, uh, gold. Mm -hmm. Beauty in everything. 
quesadilla last night. Wait, really? I want one so badly. Might, might nab some tomorrow. Letting it go. The sake of this show. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, I remember when Forever first got to Highland, I just thought um, of him as that shirtless guy. My first impression of Forever was um, him wanting um, Phil to be his sugar daddy. So, I thought that was funny. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Man, can you believe it's been that long since, like, the Brazilians were added and the French were added? It almost felt like not too long ago. They've been here for a while. Bisharlison is over two months old. Yeah, that's interesting. First time I saw Foolish ever was on his first interaction with Celibate. Your skin looks cool, so you're gonna kill me? <laughs> what? That's so interesting. I don't I don't think I remember that moment. Mm. The first intros are so chaotic. That's true. Oh, oh, I see, I see. That was funny. Look at them now. Alejandro. Look at them now. They're all besties. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do this. What do you think about Pac? I think Pac's cool. He's funny. I remember when Quackthy was presenting himself to the French and he just stole Selbit's face. <laughs> Ugh, bruh, I like I was like so cold and so I put on a hoodie and now I'm so hot. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna take off my hoodie. This is messed up. My first Selbit thing I've watched was his Federation escape room breakout with Phelps, which in hindsight is nuts. That is true. That is true. I'm seeing every day so annoying. Yeah. Do you know like the worst weather? It's like 
early like it's like in the morning it's cold so you wear a hoodie but then like in the afternoon it gets really warm and and then you had to take off your hoodie i hate that weather it's the worst especially when i was like still in college and i had to like run around like the campus and everything that was terrible it was such terrible weather <laughs> i'm upset i never got a notification that you went live don't worry no worries It's been so fun knowing all the QSMP members. I only knew the Brazilians and Jaden before. Oh, that's interesting. I think I knew all of the English creators and like some of the Spanish creators and I didn't know anybody else. So like I already knew, um, so I knew all the English creators um, and I knew Royer, Spreen, and Rubius and Quackity. Well, you know, Quackity, I included both. Um, but I didn't know anybody else. Even in the Brazilians and the French, I didn't know anybody else. But now I just love watching all of them. Jaden is universal. I remember Selva talking about how he didn't know Jaden was DJ to animations, and he was like, I watched her stuff. I was a fan, and now I play with her. What? Oh, that, that's crazy that Jaden's known all over the world. That's cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, Jaden's cool. Like, I knew Jaden for a while now. These songs on. With my hands up, playing my song, the butterflies fly away. In my head like yeah, moving my hips like yeah, playing my song. Going back and watching Foolish interact with Mariana now is a fever dream? No, that's true. Wait, I also knew Mariana from uh, Squidcraft. I didn't even realize that he had a thing with Foolish during the Squidcraft area. Like, I didn't even realize that they were a thing. <laughs> I just knew that they were flirting, but like they were flirting with everybody. Mm -mm. Ba -ba -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, they were quote unquote a thing, but then they broke up at the beginning of the QSMP. My hips like yeah, hands up and playing my song. The butterflies fly away. Yeah, yeah, it's a party in the USA. See, Vahedo's like jacket thing that I gave him looks so much more complete with like the gold detailing. Mm mm. Mm mm mm. How didn't I know that? Yeah, like, um, if you, it was, like, at the very beginning, like, right before intros and everything, um, Mariana called Foolish over, and it was, like, um, I'm breaking up with you. And then, during his introduction, when the QSMP started on the very first day, Mariana said he's open for a new boyfriend. <laughs> so... Mm -mm -mm. Want to be my boyfriend? And sure. Let's <laughs> fly away. My head like yeah. Like yeah. It's at least canon that um, they played a game together and fell in love during it. Then the breakup happened. So yeah. Yeah. Then they got a new boyfriend. They hate each other. <laughs> Imagine, I can imagine Foolish Confusion at that day. Yeah, he was, he was a little bit confused, to say the least. <laughs> I'm yelling, Timber, you better dance. You won't remember. Okay, chat, I need to pee. 
Um, so I'm going to run the hour two ads and then um, I'm going to pee and then uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. I'll play the time lapse for this, but it's going to end pretty quickly because it's a short, short art. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, chat. Hello. Oh, I'm back. And why? I just saw, I just watched the clip of, of Richarlison getting two, two of the, um, what's it called? Two of the, uh, the Pumpkin King things. Um, why is it that Richarlison got two of the Pumpkin King things, summoned both of them at the same time to fight, with Pac and Mike, and then Pac and Mike both went down, and Richarlison used two totems. What is that? <laughs> well, what? Why did that happen? <laughs> hello, hello. That was interesting. Like I don't know why I just saw the clip. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, Richarlison, you have to understand you aren't with people who are more or OP. <laughs> In danger around them, I love them so much. It's taser craft behavior, that is true. Mm-mm-mm-mm, you always get Superman, not super minivan. Like, here's the clip. He blocked me. But I just saw like... What the 
Like, Mike's down already because of Richarlison. <laughs> like, they're all using swords. Like, you can see when um they accidentally hit Richarlison too. <laughs> like, look at this. Like, at this point. Uh, Rashadison pops the totem, like, right around here. He pops the totem. And then lag, and then he pops another totem over here. <laughs> and then they're trying to protect him, and then Pacwa goes down. <laughs> and so Mike's now tanking it. <laughs> it's just so interesting comparing this moment right here. They're lucky that they only put one out, you know? They only got one out. Richardson had two of them. Ready. <laughs> You're saying Richardson get out? Yeah. The difference... Yeah, I think that's why Richardson thought that they were going to be okay because of what happened yesterday. It was so easy to take them out yesterday, but, you know... It really puts into perspective how Foolish was right. He is good at not hitting the eggs. Yeah, and I feel like um, we have to put a little bit more trust into Foolish. He knows how to use a sword. And you can see how often he's um, he's often hitting and backing away as well as attempting crits. Because if you attempt to crit with a sword, it doesn't do like the sweeping edge motion, you know, like the, the sweeping motion. Um and Bad, of course, has his, like, strong weapons and stuff. And at some point, Foolish also took out his axe, like, just in case if something happened. But, you know. You yeah, know, you know. But <laughs> Banana. I wonder if they implemented um the time thing for the lucky ducks yet that bad suggested. Like, even, even, you know it's bad when even Foolish agreed to it. He's all like, man, they, they should increase the timer or else, like, you know. They did. Is it, like, per player now? The MCC boys gave him expectations. True. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. But it's, like, 12 hours. That's fair. Because, like, not a lot of people play for 12 hours anyway. So many theories for today's event. I'm excited. We get to see what will actually happen. Ba ba. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is that a challenge to forever? What challenge? Challenge for what? I don't even remember what I said. Mm -mm. Maximus is always asking for questions about the... Most people don't play for 12 hours. How... <laughs> Okay, to be fair, how is that a challenge? I said most people. So, like, if you go on the server, the only people who I know that could play for more than 12 hours is Foolish and Forever on the server. Um, maybe bad if something happens. <laughs> so I said most. No worries, no worries. Mm -mm -mm. Wait. I didn't finish reading this. Maximus is always asking for questions about the love drama on the island for his show, and the fans keep asking other fans to not make um, the ships a big deal, aka I love Max. <laughs> the 
the fans won't make it a big deal, but Max will make it a big deal, if you know what I mean. Foolish can go 12 hours, but not on the server, I don't think. Unless we do another 24 hours of staring at a wall in Minecraft again. I I can see a world where it happens. <laughs> I can see a world where it happens. Did he do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like uh, when he was on a different server before, he did 10 hours of staring at a wall in Minecraft. Like all he did, his character literally sat there and stared at a brick wall in Minecraft for 10 hours. That's all he did. <laughs> Richardson plays for 12 hours on a daily basis, even without his parents. That's true, too. That's a crazy stream to start on. Yeah. I think my first real stream that I watched from Foolish was his first stream on Twitch when he first got added onto the DSMP. Are the same person, slightly different fonts. That is true. They are the same person, but slightly different fonts. May I ask who did the wall stream I just joined? Foolish. Foolish is crazy. I didn't realize he's the type to just stream for forever, but he does. He does. It's like he, like Foolish streams for such a long period of time that at this point he's so integrated into my life <laughs> because like I watch his streams a lot because of, um, he's great background noise for when I work. Um, so like when, when he ends early or when he starts late, sometimes I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like, what do I use as my background noise? I'm just so used to like Foolish doing eight to ten hour streams during my work hours. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> Phelps is calm because his face is like this all the time. Yeah. Phelps did a stream watching grass grow inside a game about watching paint. Uh, watch uh watching paint dry i i used to watch another content creator who did that too that's crazy we really we we really out here watching these these dudes just like sit there and do nothing for like hours on end and we do the same thing we watch them for hours on end doing nothing isn't that crazy that's kind of crazy to me for the wall streams like that foolish stare that didn't i hurl a wall for 10 hours not a dsmp wall <laughs> i mean either way he's just staring at something he was like also just staring at his monitor Everybody talks, everybody talks, everybody talks too much. That's content, am I right? Mm-hmm. This was peak content from peak COVID days. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> It's probably worse staring at a monitor than a real wall. Yeah, that's why for I think majority of that stream, you can see Foolish wearing um, glasses. And those glasses aren't like real glasses. They're uh, blue blue light glasses. So even though it's it's still not great to stare at a monitor for so long, um, it does help a little bit. Um, filter out blue light filter. I kind of miss those glasses. I kind of miss the days when Foolish would wear those glasses. Not not trying to be biased or anything because like I also wear glasses, but you know. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. 
staring for three seconds yeah that's why my glasses that i'm wearing i have like blue blue light filter lenses automatically into my lens because most of my work i had to do staring at a monitor and then on top of that my hobbies in, in includes me staring at other monitors um so i'm like i'm like at the computer for like hours on end it's actually quite terrible <laughs> Bow. Hello, Steffi. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a good day as well. All right. Wait a second. Should I? Oh, I did. Okay. So I have to do it here. Chat, I am working so slow. This is so slow. And like the more I look at it, the more I'm like uh, blah, 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 over like the proportions. But you know what? I'm over it. At this point, I'm over it. <laughs> you are so slayful. I love you. Love you too. Love you too, Steffi. I hope you're doing great. Two hours on the timer. PP overheat. Mm, 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 mm. Here, chat. Here's here's the diddly darn deal. Okay, chat. I have a deal for you. Okay. Um, I will most likely not finish this comic on stream, right? So, I, I will raid Foolish once he logs into the QSMP. He's doing Duolingo right now, but I'll raid Foolish once he logs into the QSMP. Yeah, and I'll finish this offline and then I'll post it today because I am 100% sure I'll finish it today. Okay? But you guys have to stay here until then. Okay? <laughs> you guys have to promise to stay here. You guys have to stay here so that we can raid Foolish. Okay? And then you guys have to join the raid. And... And you guys have to promise to like my art once I post it, which I'll be posting on all my socials. Okay. Is that a deal, chat? Is that a deal? <laughs> and I'll stream tomorrow. I'll stream tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. No deal, but care. Care. That means that means we can hang out. <laughs> I want to see you not go up. Whoa, that's messed up. That's kind of messed up, Zoo. We can only go up. <laughs> if Foolish plays Valorant after Q uh, after Duolingo, then I'll keep going. If he plays Valo. But I'll raid when he logs into the QSMP. Where are you going to post it? Here. Everywhere there. Okay, so I think all that's left is two color Foolish's, uh, Foolish's shirt and then the skin and then the blush and then we'll color in the lines and then we're basically done. Easy. Easy. I want to try and get this done and posted before the event because I don't want to post it after or during the event. <laughs> One direction hits harder when you're drying. <laughs> True. Mm, no friends. I remember there was like that era in my life where all of my art, I did like tons of rendering 
and like filters and everything and now I have resorted back into just not doing any of that because I just can't be bothered hear me say me with you mm -mm. One more hour? I thought it was two more hours. Is it not two more hours? Mm, yeah, yeah. Ah! So green. And for why? Oh, it's probably this. <clears throat> Three more hours? It's two more hours. my timer says one it should be is it one hour and then like 59 minutes because <laughs> that's still two hours this is two hours <laughs> one hour and 58 minutes well yeah so yeah this this is two hours basically it's 6 p.m est oh my eyes Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gone. the final hour will feel like forever oh we'll see it depends on to be fair the hour wait that they did um to play like the the lucky ducks games yesterday did actually feel like a long time when they were waiting because <laughs> like every single time they went back to check it seemed like a long time then there's bad boy Halo and his alarms that he set. But who knows? Since you've been gone. I saw the Q's and P hung out with Q's and P creators. We're breaking down the language barrier. True. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Mm -mm, but you never give. You were trampled from the first kiss. I think I want to make Forever's eyes like this. Like colored in. And then I'll do my normal coloring for eyeballs. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Don't understand as I catch a grenade for you. There we go. What brush to use for your outline? If you do exclamation point brushes, um, I list it there. Mm -mm -mm. On this pain, a bullet straight through my brain. I would die for you, baby. All right, here we go. I forgot to color in his bottom part of his gloves. I don't know why I suddenly gave a head of like a black turtleneck. I don't know why. It just kind of happened. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. In the trash, in the trash as you did. <laughs> he slays it. That's true. I probably saw like an art of him in it one day, and then I was like, you know what? I kind of like that. Like I saw an art with like Vahetta with like fingerless gloves that like goes all the way up to his bicep, and I'm like, I kind of want to draw that. <laughs> There's just something about designs like that where I'm like, I 
kind of want to add that. <laughs> All of the quests are in binary? All of the quests are in binary? Interesting. Veta just keeps changing his clothes with you. Love a man with a wardrobe. And it's like, it's not even just like different clothes every time. I just, you know, <laughs> I just do tiny little changes each time. That is interesting. Wait, I wonder if someone took a screenshot. Surely. Surely someone took a screenshot and I'll see it. Here we go. Okay, everyone is saying it, but they're not showing it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ooh. Interesting. That's weird. This is weird. All of the texts are in binary. Are there translations? Like, I think people just saw it. So, like, I don't know if there's translations yet. Ugh, I can't be bothered to put in all these ones and zeros. <laughs> Okay, so the QSMB updates account also tweeted them. Uh, let me see if they tweeted um, a clearer image of the tasks. Here's the clip. interesting i'm sure on the other streams like either um um antoine or pierre has has like a clear image of all of them so that people can translate but welcome home guys by the way the quests are in code your time is almost up wait does all of them say that does all of them say your time is almost up Or, like, does it all translate to your time is almost up? Your time is almost up. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. That's scary. Ooh, and we were just talking about that today. Ooh. They're gonna take the eggs? I have no idea. There's seven, there's only seven eggs alive right now. This makes yesterday so much sadder. Hmm. Is it time to panic? Not yet. Not yet. But anyways, Chen. A certain someone's on the server right now. So I think, I think I'm going to end my stream now um, so that I can quickly finish up this comic and then we can all enjoy the QSMP event together. Um, don't forget, in about an hour and 50 minutes is when the event starts. So let's go. <laughs> yes, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Remember to follow me on all my socials and to join the Discord. I'll be posting my art on my socials um, really, really soon.
Um, but yes, I'll send you guys over to Foosh since I am a waiting room. Um, but yes, join the raid, join the raid. Um, you get free channel points when you join the raid. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Remember that you guys are loved, you guys are cared for, and you guys are worth every single second. Make sure to take care of yourselves, stay hydrated, eat food, and get lots of rest. And remember, chat, that you guys are valid no matter what. As long as you guys aren't hurting anyone, including yourselves, you guys are valid. Okay? And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, I hope to see you guys in my stream tomorrow. But if I don't see you tomorrow, I hope to see you guys on Friday. I won't be streaming on Thursday. I'll be taking the day off um and by day off i mean i'm gonna catch up with my other work and stuff so <laughs> um hopefully i'll have this comic done by today within probably the next hour or so so i'll be posting that on my main account and i'll be hanging out on my alt account um but yeah thank you guys for hanging out i promise i will draw all of the cocos that i all every i owe everybody tomorrow maybe <laughs> anyways goodbye everyone remember to take care remember to be kind to each other spread more positivity the world could really use it um and yeah remember 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 be nice okay be nice all right goodbye have fun and foolish this chat i'll probably see you guys there i'll be in chat no worries all right bye everybody bye take care goodbye